Hi friends, this is Dr. Sujata Naik in our series Lesser Use Gems of Materia Medica. Today's remedy is Mezerium. It's a plant remedy belonging to the family Thymolaceae, uh, widely grown in Europe and West Asia. It's a deciduous shrub and its fruit and seeds are extremely poisonous and the toxicity can include severe abdominal pain, cramps, uh, with difficulty in swallowing, with extreme sensitiveness of the skin, with inflammation, a kind of rash, uh, dermatitis, and of course, uh, in advanced stages, uh, neurological disturbances with difficulty in orientation uh, with uh, convulsions and meningitis as well. The homeopathic proving was done by Dr. Samuel Hanneman, though the drug was first widely and very well proved by Dr. Constantine Herring. Mezerium is one of the gems of our Materia Medica and it has a widespread use, widespread application, especially in three areas. One is the skin, two the neurological system and three bones. Uh, in the skin, we all know that mesirium is very, very useful in atopic eczema, in psoriasis, in allergic dermatitis, in all kinds of uh, secondary dermatitis as well. But never forget the keynotes of mesirium. One is extreme sensitivity of the skin, intense itching with desire to scratch. In atopic eczemas, you might see the child scratching to an extent where the eruption will start bleeding. And uh, the hallmark of uh, mesirium is that it leaves uh, the inflammation leads to desquamation and uh, there is so much of buildup of dead tissue that the, the eruptions generally lead to scabs. And when the scabs are tried to, because of the itching, when the patient tries to dislodge the scab, it leaves behind an echodus raw surface which can be very smelly. So uh, in children with atopic eczema where there are crusts and scabs on the scalp and the baby and the or the child is so intensely irritable and wants to remove the scabs, it always leaves behind that smelly discharge, which is very characteristic. Of course, there are other remedies like calcarea carb, calcarea sulfuricum, ammonium carb, sulfur. These are remedies which are also useful for atopic dermatitis. But the hallmark, the chief characteristic of mesirium is its extreme sensitivity. Skin is very sensitive. The mesirium patient is in a constant state of irritation, whether at the physical level or the mental level. Any kind of touch is going to aggravate the mesirium patient. So even if you, when the patient is suffering from any of these disorders and you try to talk to the patient, he'll be in a state of, uh, uh, he is going to be irritable because he doesn't want to be disturbed at any cost. So uh, irritation, constant irritation is uh, uh, the, one of the characteristics of mesirium. And sensitiveness to cold. Uh, the mesirium patient is extremely chilly like hepar sulfuricum, very, very chilly. They're sensitive to any kind of draft of air. But what is also very characteristic is that this kind of sensitivity to cold is uh, about the neuralgia and about the rheumatic complaints. Whereas the skin complaints are sensitive to warmth. Any kind of warm applications, warm air, uh, the heater, especially in winter, we've seen that in uh, countries or in places where there is severe cold and the heating system is on. The skin becomes dry, itchy with, uh, uh, with any kind of weather. The patient will feel the heat in the skin and will want something cold to apply. However, his neuralgia or if he has a rheumatic issue as well, that portion is only better by warmth. So this is very, very characteristic of mesirium and this is something that uh, is, has to be included in the keynote characteristics. Uh, the other thing is for all kinds of neuralgias and we found it very, very useful in uh, post-shingles neuralgia, in uh, trigeminal neuralgia or even in a toothache. Again, ext extreme sensitivity to touch uh, aggravated by any kind of cold application or uh, uh, even cold air if the patient does not want the fan or even the air conditioning on will want to be covered generally a mesirium patient will have a warm towel around, wrapped around his uh, mouth uh, around his face especially when there is a neuralgia or even in a rheumatic complaint so uh, remember the keynote characteristics of mesirium so when you have a patient who comes with either an atopic eczema with intense scaling scratching intense itching uh, with scabby eruptions leaving an echorous uh, smelly surface and uh, sensitiveness and irritation at every level or a patient with a rheumatic complaint where there is extreme sensitivity to cold and again any kind of uh, touch is going to aggravate especially even in senile patients uh, who have rheumatic complaints in winter 
Mesirem is a very very useful remedy even for uh, senile dermatitis where the skin becomes dry and the patient wants to itch and scratch and wants uh, some kind of cold applications or a cold compress. Mesirem is your remedy. Thank you.